Hello everyone, how are you doing? This is MD Tech here with another quick tutorial. In today's tutorial, I'm going to show you guys how to hopefully resolve that DLL is either not designed to run on Windows or it contains an error. Try installing the program again using the original installation media or contact your system administrator or the software vendor for support. So this should hopefully be a pretty straightforward process, guys, and let's go ahead and jump right into it. First thing I recommend doing, make sure you're downloading the correct version of the DLL file. If you're on Windows 10 or Windows 11, make sure you're downloading a 64-bit version of the file. Now, assuming you're not running a 32-bit version of Windows 10, which most of you guys should not be at this point, so there certainly could be an incompatibility with that. Also make sure you're downloading it for the correct version of Windows. And if there are any new versions of the DLL online from directly from the manufacturer, I'd recommend going and getting them directly from the manufacturer always, you know, if you can and see if there are any newer versions available. And if you're still having a problem, something else we can try here as well would be to open up the search menu. If, assuming you're having issues with like pretty much every DLL file on your computer, you might have system corruption issues. So in order to resolve that, if that could potentially be part of the problem, you want to type in CMD into the search menu. Best match, you come back with command prompt. Go ahead and right click on that and select run as administrator. If you receive a user account control prompt, select yes. So I will have two commands in the description of my video. Go ahead and copy the first one. It's a DISM command. And then go up the top bar of the command prompt window, right click on it, select edit and paste it in. Give us a couple of minutes to run. Okay, so once that's done, go ahead and copy the second command in the description of my video and paste it into the command prompt the same way you did the first one, and hit enter. And give this a couple minutes to run. Okay, so once it's done, go ahead and close out of here, and you want to restart your computer. Okay, so there you go, guys. Hopefully I was able to help resolve the problem. And as always, thank you for watching. I do hope I was able to help you out, and I do look forward to catching you all in the next tutorial. Goodbye.